Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tilly and today I'm going to be unboxing the March Afterlight box. So I do actually have two boxes here. I think one of them is obviously the March box and then the other one is the Helen Huang box. I thought it might be quite nice to unbox both for you today. But we'll start with the March box first. So the first thing I'm seeing is the spoiler card. As always, I'm gonna put this to one side and we will look at it at the end. I love this packaging, but I can't quite tell what this is. So let's open it up and have a look. Oh cool, so we've got this glass mug, which is just really pretty. It is fandom neutral as Afterlight tends to be, but that's really cool. I'm guessing you could still have a hot drink in there but it would also be really lovely for the summer with a nice cold refreshing drink as well and I've just noticed that it's got a cat on it how adorable okay and then the next thing I'm spotting is this so this is kind of like an art deco inspired sunglass or glasses case which is quite a nice idea I don't have to wear glasses anymore but this will definitely come in handy for my sunglasses and then we've got some cute character art this is really pretty I love the character art that comes in a Luma crate boxes and then as always on the other side we've got the author's letter and then that brings us on to the book itself. I think I've said it before that I'm slightly disappointed that Illumicrate don't seem to be doing their little pouches anymore. As I said last time, it would be really nice to see like a green Afterlight inspired pouch for the book. So it is a little bit more of a surprise than the bubble wrap. So I've taken it out the bubble wrap and it is really, really pretty. I love the colour scheme of this. I love the gold foiling. I'll as always put the original cover on screen for you now so that you can see the difference. And then we've got some really cool sprayed edges with the palm tree. I don't I don't think we've ever had sprayed edges for an afterlight monthly box before so this is really exciting and I hope this is something they do more of and then this is the back and then the spine you've got again some lovely gold foiling the end pages are a little bit plain but the naked hardcover is absolutely gorgeous I love that gold foiling it's quite similar to the Ali Hazelwood books that they did there's not any artwork under the dust jacket and then the back end pages are fairly similar to the others the back again is also quite plain but I've never heard of this one before so let's have a little look at that synopsis what if her hollywood job turns into her hollywood ending since a crushing breakup three years ago nina rice has written romance friends and her dreams of script writing out of her life but a surprise meeting organized by ari fox a young actress on everyone's radar stirs up all kinds of feelings nina thought she deleted for good ari is sexy out and proud and a serious control freak according to nina's boss when ari tells nina she should be writing again nina suddenly finds it less scary to revisit her abandoned life than seriously consider the that she is flirting with her. Between reconnecting with her old crew and working on a new script, a relationship with a movie star seems like something she'll definitely mess up, but what could be more worth the risk? I think that sounds really cute. It's obviously sapphic, so it's always nice to see some different representation. I also quite like reading about the author. So Amy Spaulding is the author of several novels, including the best-selling We Used to Be Friends and The Summer of Geordie Perez, and The Best Burger in Los Angeles, which was named a best book of 2018 by NPR, The Boston Globe, Circus, and more. Amy grew up in St. Louis and now lives in Los Angeles. She has a BA in Advertising and Marketing Communications from Webster University and an MA in Media Studies from the New School. Amy studied long form improv at the Upright Citizens Brigade Theatre. So I guess Hollywood acting media is definitely own experience so that's going to be quite interesting to, to see that from that kind of perspective. I do think this one sounds a lot of fun and I'm really excited to give it a read. So let's have a little look at that spoiler card. So first of all we've got the motion picture frosted mug and this was designed by Stacey McAvoy Kauntz. This adorable frosted mug features a number of Hollywood elements including some hidden nods to our book of the month. Oh that's going to be really interesting. And then we've got the Hollywood glamour glasses case designed by JK. Store your sunglasses in this Art Deco themed case, ready to use whenever you feel like shielding yourself from the paparazzi. They've definitely gone with the theme this month of Hollywood, glitz and glam. And yeah, I'd say I'm fairly pleased with the box this month. They are definitely items that I'm going to use. I will probably use the mug most of all, but this is definitely going to be handy as well to keep my sunglasses safe. And then that brings us on to the Kiss Quotient set. So I have put the books in order so that we can go through them chronologically. So I have only read the Kiss Quotient and the Bride Test. The Kiss Quotient I absolutely loved. It's been one of my favourite books this year. The Bride Test I didn't find as good. I found the representation a little bit uncomfortable, but I will talk more about that in my monthly wrap up. So as I said, let's start with the Kiss Quotient. So this is the cover and I absolutely love this. I think this is such a lovely cover, but it's quite possibly the sprayed edges that I just think are fantastic. I mean, look at those. I don't know if you can see them. I'm hoping you can, but they just look absolutely fantastic. Then we've got some lovely character art 
on the back and then this is the spine and then inside as well we've got some lovely artwork the front cover has got the equations I, again I'm really hoping you can see that but it is quite a light color there's no art underneath the dust jacket this is the artwork at the back and again the equations go onto the back and then there is a quote saying I like you better than calculus and maths is the only thing that unites the universe which is obviously a quote from the kiss quotient I'm so pleased with this I just think it looks absolutely beautiful and then this is the heart principle which as I said I didn't enjoy as much but I do still really love this edition so this is the front again it's got some really pretty sprayed edges I think the sprayed edges on the kiss quotient I prefer but I do still think these are really cute again I'm really hoping you can see it because it is quite a light color the artwork on the back is also so so cute I love that imagery and then this is the artwork on the back cover I'm pretty sure this is the scene where she gives him a haircut and I love that he's wearing his I heart taxes t-shirt the planes again follow through onto the front cover again I don't know if you're going to be able to see this there's no artwork on the dust jacket again these are the end pages and then again the artwork follows through onto the back cover and then this one's got a quote that says everyone deserves to love and be loved back everyone and I've also just noticed that there's also a quote on the back so this one says my heart works in a different way but it's yours you're my one and the quote on the back of the kiss quotient says when you love someone you fight for them in every way you know how and then that brings me lastly on to the heart principle as I said I've not read this one yet but I am so excited to give this one a go because this is Quan's book I hope I'm pronouncing his name right but he has definitely been one of my favorite characters throughout sorry I didn't quite explain it very well so the first book follows Stella and Michael so Stella has autism she's never been in a relationship so she hires a male escort to teach her how to have sex and then the second and third books follow different couples that are kind of within that friendship group or world or somehow connected to the characters but yes heart principle I love the cover as always I think these are my second favorite sprayed edges as they've got little koi fishes and little notes I think that's really adorable and then we've got some lovely artwork on the back and I'm going to remember to tell you what the quote is this time the good thing this broken heart of mine can feel is love for you and then again we've got some beautiful artwork on the end pages the naked hardback has the koi's and the music notes the spine is also really pretty then we have the end pages at the back and on the back of the naked hardcover we also have a quote and the same design from the front just because something isn't perfect doesn't mean we need to throw it away so there we have it the March Afterlight box and the Helen Huang set did you get the March Afterlight box what did you think did you like the items did you like the books alternatively did you get the Helen Huang set what did you think of it please let me know down in the comments as always if you enjoyed this video please remember to give it a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next one thanks for watching bye guys Thank you.